I'm Lucas from Waldorf Music. Today I'm going to introduce you to the Waldorf STVC, which consists of a string section, a vocoder and much more. So this is going to be the first video of the series Focus on STVC. I have the STVC in front of me, so it's time to take off. Okay, we've put the STVC on a table. You can also use a stand or whatever you prefer, as long as it is in a stable position. So, let's go through the cable connections. You should connect all the cables before you start the device. All your cables go in here. Use two 6.3mm or quarter inch TS type cables. You can also use only one cable, but if you have two available, you should definitely go for both. In here goes the headphones, this is a 3.5mm jack. This jack here is shared by the expression pedal and the line in. You can use it only for one of these functions at the same time. So you can either plug in your expression pedal or an external sound source for the vocoder. Note that the expression pedal doesn't do anything before you've assigned it in the tweak menu. Here's the classic DIN MIDI in and out and there's the USB connection. STVC is powered by USB. You can power it from your computer or use it standalone with the included power adapter. This adapter comes with plugs for the all sockets all around the world. Also we've tested the power bank with the STVC and it worked fine. With the USB connection you can also transfer MIDI. Note that firmware upgrades only work through USB MIDI not DIN MIDI. And up here is the I.O. switch. Everything we need is set up so we'll give it a go. And that's it for the startup time. STVC is now ready to be played. STVC consists of the solo section and the string section. The solo section has up to 16 voices and the string section is fully polyphonic, meaning that there will always be 128 voices available. With the balance dial, you can fade between the both. Also, you can limit the range of the solo section with this lever. For example, if I press this key while flipping this to low, only this part until this key will be active with the solo section and the rest will have the strings only. Now let's take a look at the string section. The most important control here is the registration knob. This allows you to go through many, many timbres of string sounds. The string section synthesizes sounds based on a variety of square waves with different pulse widths and amplitudes. With the registration knob, you can decide how they are mixed together. This parameter and many others can also be controlled with an expression pedal. We'll get back to that later. We've printed some timber categories around the knob, which may help you finding the correct sound. Of course, these resulting sounds are no realistic representations of these instruments but these are authentic string machine sounds. It wasn't our aim to clone the sound of one certain vintage string machine. STVC has its own sound. And you'll hear the differences to our Waldorf Streichfett. The string section on STVC has been drastically upgraded. Now the strings sound warmer and even more lush than on Streichfett. If you liked our Streichfett, you will love our STVC. String sounds are controlled with a simple envelope. 
consisting of crescendo, that's the attack, and release. Then you have the octave selector, which allows you to set the octave either to the bass octave, to one octave above, or both at the same time. Until here the ensemble effect was activated at all time. This is what defines the sound of the string section because it turns a static waveform into a nice lush pad. Now let me show you the wall waveforms of this section. I'll switch off the ensemble effect and the phaser and the reverb because it was still active. And still the octave doubler. And now we can hear the waveforms without any further processing. Okay, that sounds a bit thin. Let's thicken it up again with the ensemble effect. Ensemble effect can be activated at a string ensemble, chorus ensemble, or both. For the string section, we also have a gorgeous phaser where rate and depth can be controlled. Let's set that to a slow rate and to very, very deep depth. And let's switch that off again and let me show you the animate. The animate function puts an LFO on the registration. So I'll put that into the middle and then the LFO would change the registration knob. The ensemble, the animate and the phaser are only available for the string section, while the reverb is also available for the string and the solo section. Now we will focus on the solo section of the STVC. In order to hear that alone, let's put back the reverb to zero and the balance to 100% solo. The solo section is a simple synthesizer module. Note that this is not a fully fledged synthesizer of its own, it's more intended to thicken up the string sounds of this instrument. You have a tone control as the waveform selector. Note that the polyphony of 16 voices is reduced on some of these tones, depending on the selection of the style. There's also an attack and decay or release here. And a tremolo effect. Okay, so we've talked about the string section and the solo section. Now let's get over to the vocoder section. I need to plug in the microphone that goes in here. Then I'll need to put the balance to the strings because the vocoder uses the string section as a carrier. Then I need to press this button and then 
we can go. Welcome. Welcome to the sound of world of S T V C. As the vocoder is based on the string section, you can also change the sound of the vocoder by changing the registration knob. The vocoder also comes with a freeze function. With that, you can record and loop to up about 23 seconds of audio material. Just need to have that pressed and preferably having a key pressed at the same time so you can hear what the result is going to sound like. A glimpse of color in a world full of gray. The spark of hope in the deepest part of the void. A glimpse of color in a world full of gray. The spark of hope in the deepest part of the void. The end of your dreams, unreachable, no matter how much effort you put into the pursuit. STVC doesn't record the waveform of your voice, just a mathematical interpretation. Also, you can record just noises, or rhythmic loops with dreams or beatboxing sounds. Then you can base your track on what you just recorded. Perfect for dynamic live settings. If all that flexibility isn't enough for you, we have implemented a 5-slot modulation matrix in STVC. Press the tweak button to get there. With the plus and the minus buttons, you can select the slot and which value you want to change. On this side, that's the source, the amount and the destination. Any source can be linked to any destination and each source and destination can be used multiple times. One of my favorites is here in the last slot. I have linked an expression pedal to the registration knob, inverted, and it's under the table so you can see that, but I can use that to morph the strings while playing with both hands. If we leave the tweak menu, we go back to the standard view of the display. The display lets you know which preset you currently have selected. Also gives you a visual feedback of value changes and where the value has been when the patch was saved the last time. You can also select patches using this dial. Saving a patch works by holding down one of the bank buttons. Then you can enter your patch name with the keyboard and select the cursor position with the keyboard transpose and press two times yes when you're done. I don't want to save that right now, so I just press no and go back. STVC offers three memory banks with 42 slots each. So that's a total of 126 patches you can save on this instrument. Another important feature is the system page or the system menu. You can access it by pressing tweak and A at the same time. And then you can go through with the buttons and change the value. Most people aren't aware that they need the STVC before they have tested it out themselves. So we really recommend testing it out in a store near you. Even if you haven't considered the STVC yet, you definitely should because it sits easy in the mix and it can be a large addition to many different styles of music. Plus, it saves you the work of hauling your old string ensemble to the stage. The STVC can do string machine sounds in all of these flavors. For example, of the old Alp, Solina, Fafisa, Elka or whatever you think of. But there's much more variety due to the registration knob and modulation matrix. So this is not just a one-trick pony. Not to mention that with the STVC, you're on the safe side. You won't have to fear the tuning or sudden dropouts that can happen with Alder Gear. So, that's it for now. Like all Waldorf devices, STVC is made from carefully selected components in industrial grade strength and comes in a solid steel case. This is made to last. 
so this synthesizer will be a reliable and versatile companion for many years to come. Absolutely perfect for the stage and your studio and a great addition to your music in any case. So, we're finished. I'm Lukas from Waldorf. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.